Hey there, hi there, ho there, again. Hi, it's time for example eight. Using only algebra, find a cubic function with the given zeros, support by graphing your answer. I Which we will not do. So we're not going to support it by graphing our answer? They can graph it at you home. You can graph it at home. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they're saying that these are our, our zeros, right? That roots. Could they be roots? They could be roots. They could be zeros. They could be solutions. Sorry. They Those all mean the same thing. X-intercepts. X equals these three things. And we want to find a cubic function that would give us those as answers. It's really pretty easy to do. Uh, if it's a function, we've got like an f of x situation going on. And you know how whenever we find them, we set each part equal to zero? Well, we're going to do the opposite of that, and we're going to stick these in parentheses. When we do, we change the signs. Uh, super secret opposite society. Exactly. Because once I have this written out, like, don't you see, if we set this equal to zero, we can solve for that and get one, solve for that and get one. Why am I pointing at the screen? <laughs> yeah. Solve for this and get get one, solve for this and get three, solve for this and get negative So three. when you solve each one out, though, you do get one, three, and negative two, and that's the important that part. That is the important part. Now, we're trying to multiply this out to so that we get a real life polynomial. Okay. Real life function. So let's multiply. Let's do. Okay, so we're going to start by foiling two of them. So first, can we handle outer and inner at the same time? Yeah, outer and inner together. Okay. Ready, negative 4, go. Okay, so negative 3x plus negative 1x, which is negative 4x. And then last, negative 1 times negative 3 is plus 3. That's the first two parentheses multiplied together. Then we got to multiply another parentheses together. So this is where you distribute twice. You're going to probably have to have a little work on this one because even for us uh, as mathematicians and I people that do this all the time. I wouldn't sit here and try to do this in my head. Yeah, do, doing this in your head is, is no deal. Unacceptable, actually. Right. Prove to, how awesome your math skills are by writing all of the steps down. I'm going to do this cool thing where now Stack I, it, yes. Yes, yeah, stack it. So now when I distribute the 2 through, I'm lining up my x squareds, my x's, and these other things. And so now you can see that our like terms are coming down in columns. God, that's, that's genius. Yep. I actually sometimes forget that this is such a great way to do it, but then I saw a student doing it the other day. I don't remember who, but you may know who you are, and I think you're awesome. Yeah, that, that, that really Shout does. out to a random student that I don't remember who random was Random students. Okay, that's, that's the first one. Uh, there would be like an f of x out here. I, yeah, I or perhaps it. a y equals. Or a y maybe. equals. That would make it a function. Really, by itself, it's not one. But no. f of x equals or y equals. All right, so that's our first example. And then here's where it's where it gets fun. Yeah, this 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 here is where life. This okay. This is real life. Which For is real. Would, okay. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say which is funny because we have imaginary numbers, but those aren't imaginary. They're yeah. just irrational. Yeah, they're yeah being they're being irrational. They're your parents. Uh, yelling at you after you show up two minutes after curfew, being Whose irrational. Whose side are you on? What, uh, what I meant to say was, what you want to do is, <clears throat> it actually will help on this if you write down exactly what's going on. So, Mrs. Stevenson has already started, and and with the radicals in there, you need to write it out. So x minus, and then put your parenthesis in there, and what your number is: two plus the square root of three. Okay, and then close everything off and do another one: x minus and then put your parenthesis in there, and then 2 minus radical 3. So this is, this is your starter, and it looks brutal, okay? But, but it's, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. It's it, misunderstood. It's it, irrational. It is. It's, so, but here's what you do. Start with the radical part first. I'm just telling you right now, if you don't do the radical part first, yeah, we're going to distribute in just a second. But if you, if you don't start with the radical part first, your life will just become miserable. So... Oh, you mean like this part? Yeah, start okay. with that whole part okay. first. Okay, so go ahead and distribute the negative sign in there and, and on both of those. So you'll end up with x minus 2 minus radical 3. Right. And x minus 2 plus radical 3. Right. And here's the trick that you're known, you know if you go in the right direction. When you do your math here... Square roots should, should go away. The square roots should totally be they gone. They should not stay in there. Right. So Which again, is a good thing. Yes, we don't want them. So, so again, starting it back. Well... X times X, that's easy. That's just X squared. Yes. Okay. We're pretending, okay, here's what here's what we're really doing, so in case we lose you. We're pretending that this is a number and that this is a number, and we are foiling. We are. Okay? Big that's chunkage That's about foil. to happen. So to do that, we have to, go ahead. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're just going to follow our, our rules of first, outer, inner, last parts. Well, the last part, okay, at the very end is going to be, um, 
Yeah, just write it out, negative 2 minus square root of 3 and a negative 2 plus square root of 3. We're actually doing this part. This is our last term. This is our oil. last term. So it will actually be 4 minus 3. There's no middle term on this guy. And right. that's what we love about it. 4 minus 3. Because when you do first, outer, inner, last, the outer and inner terms on this will cancel each other out. Mm -hmm. Your first is negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4. And then a negative, this tends to trip people up. So a negative square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is, is negative, negative square, square root of, of nine, 9, which is negative 3. Right. So that's how we got this negative 3 here. Right. So 4 minus 3 equals 1. So our last term here for, for foiling out this part is going to be a plus 1. Plus 1. So we need to figure out what's in the middle. And so when you do foil and you do outer and inner, you always end up adding those together because they're always like terms. Right. So, and there's always an X with it. Right. So we need to add together these two numbers so that we can get those outer and inner terms added together. Right. So what we're doing is negative 2 minus square root of 3 plus negative 2 plus root 3. Okay, and so our square roots go away. Negative two plus negative two is negative four. And then and then x. And then we put an x with it. So that's that all worked out. And so the key thing is that you you multiply them together. Yes. And that you add them together, yes. and that tells you those two numbers that go in there. And if you end up with radicals in there, you screwed up. You've got a mistake. And we showed you this is like a little trick that we just showed you. So this is going to be a little uncomfortable to watch the first time. You may need to watch it. A, Watch this particular part a couple times to see what we're doing. But I'm telling you, once you have this trick figured out, life is... Life is grand. Oh, super grand. It's yeah. like a... Yeah. It's like... It's like a holiday. Chocolate and peanut butter. So let's finish distributing. Yeah, let's do. So okay. now we're just going to wrap this problem up by distributing through again. And um, if you go ahead and stack these guys like we did in green just a minute ago, everything lines up just 100% perfectamente. Also notice that there's no radicals at all left in our problem. They're gone. They left after step number one. So if there's a radical left in there somewhere, you've got a little whoops uh, that needs to a be... A little bit of a whoopsie yeah, daisy. Yeah, just go, just go check your math and, and make sure. So there you go. And then put that f of x right there. Or y. Or y. And yeah. that's it right bingo, there. Bingo, bango, bongo. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep.